This is question number 27 on the sheets that I gave out in class and I just wanted to work this example out. It says how much energy is required to boil away one liter of water and the uh, heat of vaporization is 40.7 kilojoules per mole and then we want to compare this to the energy required to raise its temperature from 25 to 100 degrees and the specific heat capacity is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay, so first let's look at this first part, how much energy is required to boil away one liter of water. Um, the key for these kind of problems is to look at the units of what we're given. Okay, we're given one liter of water and uh, we're going to assume that this is at its boiling point and we're just going to uh, find out how much energy it takes to actually boil it away um, not to increase its temperature just to boil it all right and the units here are kilojoules per mole all right so what this means is that the uh, heat that is required to vaporize the water is 40.7 kilojoules for every mole of water so then it becomes a question of how many moles of water do we have and then we can just multiply that by the 40.7 kilojoules per mole and that'll tell us how many kilojoules are required okay so one liter of water um, and we can just uh, do a little conversion I'll go ahead and and write it out one liter is a thousand milliliters and then what are we going to need in order to get this into moles so that it will cancel we need to get first to grams and then to moles so in order to go from volume units to mass units we need density and uh, the density of course for water 1.0 grams per milliliter so here are the milliliters and uh, 1.0 grams per one milliliter of the water. All right. Now we're in grams. Our milliliters cancel and our liters have canceled. We want to go to moles, and uh, the uh, in order to go from grams to moles, of course, we need the mol uh, the molar mass, and for water, that is. 18 grams per mole okay arranged so that grams will cancel okay so now everything has canceled we have moles all right so all we have left is the remaining factor there are 40.7 kilojoules per mole all right our moles will cancel and we'll be left with kilojoules. All right, and let's put that in the calculator. Um, actually, all right, everything is one except for the 18. So this is 40.7 kilojoules per mole uh, divided by 18. Let me get my calculator out here. And and let's calculate that. So we have one liter times a thousand milliliters per liter times one divided by 18 times 40.7 and we have 2261. All right, so let me get this situated here. 2261. All right. Units are in kilojoules. And if I look here, um, technically, I really should only have one significant figure. We're just kind of doing a rough estimate here. So we'll go ahead and round this. We're going to need about 2,000 kilojoules of energy or two megajoules, if you will. It's not a very common unit, but 
point is this is a lot of energy that it takes to boil away the one liter of water. Okay, so let's look back at the other part. Let's compare this to the amount of energy that's required to raise its temperature from 25 to 100 degrees. All right, so now in order to do this part, again, look at these units. This is telling us 4.184 joules are required for every gram of water to raise its temperature one degree, for every gram, for every degree, okay? So, so if I know how many grams of water I have, which will be a thousand grams, and then how many degrees I'm raising its temperature from 25 to 100 would be 75 degrees. That's how much the temperature is rising. So a thousand grams, I'm raising its temperature 75 degrees and it's 4.184 joules for every gram for every degree. So let's write it like this. 4.184 joules per gram degree C times, we said it's, a, it's one liter, thousand milliliters, one gram per milliliter, so we do that multiplication and we have 1,000 grams of the water. Now the grams cancel and what else do we need? The 75 degrees C. Okay. 75 degrees C is our temperature change that comes from our 100 minus 25. The uh, final, we can say TF minus TI, that's our change in temperature. Okay, so now our degrees C cancels and we're left with joules. So what do we get? Here, this time we have 4,184 uh, 4, will be the first product. Um, if I can get my calculator working right here. 4,184 times 75 and I get 313,000. 800 kilojoules, um, or rather joules. Remember, we look back over here and we're just in joules. So we have joules here. So let's round this off to uh, 31, uh, or rather 310 kilojoules. Okay, move the decimal three places over and that gets us into kilojoules. All right, so it takes 310 kilojoules to raise its temperature from, uh, from room temperature to, to boiling, and it takes 2,000 kilojoules or more to raise its, uh, or rather to boil away the one liter of water. So you can see it takes a significant amount more energy to boil it away than it does to increase it to its boiling point. And that's the point that I wanted to make there.